Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I'm going small again. All right, so today I come to you with my head hung low and a little bit of sadness in my heart because I spent the last couple of days moving out of this nice big office into a smaller office. I talked before about the importance of scale and being able to scale up your business, to be able to scale up your apps, all that kind of stuff. And if you're gonna scale, you have to rely a lot on processes, get the right people in, and make sure the economic conditions are good. And sometimes those things all work in your favor, and sometimes they don't, and sometimes you just make mistakes along the way. And I'm kind of guilty of making mistakes along the way, and of course we have all the Brexit stuff, but it's not really a very good excuse because lots of businesses are thriving, but you know, you learn as you go. So. The client business is actually doing really well. The clients are really happy, but I found that as we're adding more client work onto what we were doing, I was working even more and longer hours. So in the end, we had to be more selective about which clients we brought on. And then it became, of course, a, a point of we having more money going out than coming in. So then rather than keep scaling up, I had to make the decision whether or not to keep going the way we were going, possibly going to a bit of debt, or to scale down again and regroup. And I decided to scale down again. Scaling up is not easy, but scaling down is a lot more difficult. It's a lot more difficult letting people go. I still have the teams overseas. We still have, we still have all the clients. The clients are happy, but I was just getting to the point where I thought we need to relook at our processes, do things a little bit differently if we go forward, and had to scale back and regroup. And it's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit embarrassing, you know. Got the sign on the wall, all this kind of stuff. It had to, you know, and and building up, and then have to go small again. But, you know, aside from a bit of embarrassment and losing a bit of money, I guess everything's okay, right? And the new office is, I mean, you're gonna notice I'm in the new office in the next video I do, but it's just, that's just gonna be just me. It's gonna be like my cave. There's gonna be devices everywhere. I'm gonna go back to the days where I have like the, the, the key map of WebStorm up, uh, up on the wall or whatever reference material that I have up on the wall. It's just gonna be like a coder's den, right? I'm just gonna go small again, which in a way I'm kind of looking forward to it, but still. So do I consider this a failure? That the fact that I went, I'm in my third office in the last year, so I went from a, a small office to a little larger office to a larger office back to a small office. Do I consider that a failure? Yeah, kind of. I have, I have a tendency to beat myself up about these kind of things, but if I didn't do it, I would still be thinking about doing it now, right? I'm glad to have done it because I'm gonna do it again. I just need to you know, pull back and regroup a little bit and you know, I still have my developers, you know, my teams overseas, and we have a lot of people I work with that work from home, which is actually much more convenient. But, you know, I just thought I would share this with you because you guys are going to notice the next time I do a video that's going to be in a different office. And also, I have nothing but respect for people who give things a try. I'm tired of talking to app developers who tell me about their app idea and say one day they're going to do it and never do. And I much prefer to talk to app developers and say, I released my app, you know, version one didn't really take off, but we're gonna do version 1.1. 1 .1. We, we're, we're learning from our mistakes, we're going forward, and then we're gonna do version 1.3 and we're gonna keep going. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna move on to the next app and that kind of stuff. I love that, I admire that in people. Even though I have a tendency to beat myself up about things, like, I, I mean, I, you know, I am the king of wallowing in my own misery, so, you know, it's one of those things. I had to step back and think, if I, was give, if I was giving myself advice, what would I say to myself? It would be, dude, man, you tried this. You know, you're gonna try it again because that's what you do, right? And I think what was getting to the point where what was, was more money going out than coming in and I had to think, we're not gonna be able to service our clients as well. It's better to have fewer clients which we could service really, really well than to bring in lots that we just were dropping the ball all over the place. and. And I found myself in a situation where I was hoping for a bottom of the ninth grand slam, which if you don't know baseball, it's like very rare. It's like filling up the bases and then hitting it out of the park in the bottom of the ninth when you're behind. And I thought, that's not right. It's better to take the foot off the, 
off the gas for a little bit and slow down, which is what I'm gonna do. So we're still gonna do the videos. I'm still doing overpass. I'm not giving up on things. Although when I wallow in my misery, I do, I do consider it. It does pass through my mind. I think, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to corporate life. I'm just gonna go get a job, right? And, um, <laughs> but then I, rem then I remember what that's like and I think, hell no, what why would I do that? Things aren't that bad, right? And you know what, but the thing is the app income is, is better. So we talk about passive and active income. The active income, and it might be just the way that it was doing things before. We don't really have recurring revenue with clients. It's more, it's more like project after project. In a way, it reminds me of Tarzan swinging from vine to vine. He swings and he hopes that next vine is gonna be there and sometimes it isn't. But the app income, oh, thank God for the app income. That just keeps coming in, the passive income. So, you know, that's always a goal is to build up the passive income. But anyway, I just wanted to be open and upfront with you guys. You know, sometimes things go really well. Sometimes they don't go so well. It could have gone a lot worse if I didn't, if, you know, if I didn't, don't see what's going on and you're always making course adjustments and so forth. So anyway, everything's going to be still fine with the channel. We're still going to keep doing these videos. We're still working with all the clients. We're still taking on new clients, but we're just restructuring things at how we do it and just going small. And I'm going back to kind of the way that I miss being, just having that little space of my own where I could just sit, put the, put the music on and code, right? Just looking forward to that. So anyway, that is it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever been in a situation where you had to stop pull back and regroup because, um, and did you beat yourself up about it? Yeah, maybe it's just me who does that. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.